Hey everybody, Mike Drew Tarr, Principal Broker, Next Home Paradise Realty, bringing you another property tour. Today we are in Kona Sea Ridge, which is where I live, as many of you know. I have a listing here from an original owner. This unit was never rented. It was never lived in full time, so it's been very, very lightly used. It is incredibly well decorated. You're going to love what you see inside. Tommy Bahama style furniture throughout. I'm looking forward to bringing this one to you. Let's go check it out. Okay, guys, let's get started right here at the front door. So I told you that this one is really well decorated more than any of these that I've ever seen. And I don't think I'm going to let you down. This is like tiny Bahama style furniture throughout. This was a very lightly used condo. Um, it was never rented and it was never lived in full time. Uh, the owners, who are wonderful people, would come basically for like a week or two, um, four or five times a year. And then uh, after 2020, that shut down to even less just because travel got so difficult as we all remember. And uh, so yeah, you get pretty much a super lightly used unit, never rented, never full-time lived in. Okay, you guys know that I'm a big fan of this floor plan. I actually own this floor plan here in this complex. Uh, I like it here at Kona Sea Ridge and I like this floor plan a lot. Let's just walk through it and show you what we got. So first, when you walk in the front door over to the left side, you have a staircase going up. We have the primary bedroom, another bedroom and a loft up there. So I'm going to show that to you. Lots of space. The thing is, and I've said it before, this floor plan lives like a house. Most condos that you're in, the you, know, you feel like a condo. Uh, when you're in this area, this is bigger than the main living area in a lot of the houses that we see in our market right now. We're around 1,700, I think maybe a little more, a little less in square footage uh, here. So yeah, there's a lot of space for a condo. So we got our front door back there. We got that staircase going up. Let's come in here. We do have a lower level bedroom. What's really awesome about having at least one bedroom on a lower level is that if someone needs to have... Um, you know, can't do stairs, uh, you have them covered in here as well. Nice yellow cover color with a decorative palm tree wallpaper around the top. Drapes, like we don't see people doing drapes that much anymore. Really nice lamps. I mean, the furniture in here is outstanding. Uh, this bamboo style looking bed, check that out. Uh, four poster bed with the canopy on it. Uh, this is being sold turnkey furnished. I think there is uh, one piece of artwork in an upstairs bedroom that's not included, and the rest of it is. We have a queen-size bed, plenty of space. You could easily fit a king in here. Big, huge dresser, lots of room, and this is decorated so well. Every piece uh, in here looks amazing. We have our closet over here. Coming out of this bedroom, we have a linen closet just ahead of us. And then our bathroom. So this is the bathroom that everyone would use down here on the lower level. Nice wallpaper trim up top as well. I'm not hating it, guys. Um, and a lot of color. So this is really pulling out like that island lifestyle. The green's pumping a little bit more on camera, but it is, you know, it's a green. Um, it's uh, really nice. The use of color in here is excellent. Some people are good at designing. I'm not. Uh, look, everything is included here, guys. You are just set up. I like how they brought in, uh, with the bamboo, a lot of, uh, life in here in color. Nice look. Okay. So we have, this is one of the things I really like about it is that you have a dedicated dining room, which is pretty rare and two separate living areas. Uh, that's pretty uncommon for a condominium. You don't see that very often. So we got to talk about the kitchen here for a minute. These are original owners. Uh, right after they moved in, they had the cabinets redone. So if you've seen these in a lot of other complexes that we have in here, it's what's called thermofoil on the cabinets. Original. This has been upgraded to actual real wood instead of parkour board with a heat applied plastic layer. Uh, and they look really good. Um, these were done around, I think, 04, if I remember correctly. One thing that they did, they added on, so this is usually just a couple bifold doors and, and that's it. Uh, they changed it out and put you know, real doors on here and then added the beverage cooler, the little countertop right here. 
So it looks great. Got a little bit of stuff in here, nothing major, but it's nice that it's nice and usable and that it looks good and it's not just those clunky doors. We have a Samsung refrigerator, uh, freezer down below, French door refrigerator top. And we have our we stainless steel everything in here, dishwasher, stove, microwave, refrigerator, beverage cooler. Looks great. Even like the uh, the KitchenAid mixer uh, in a nice green color that accents really well with really well with the wall. Gotta get my tongue tied done with here. So nice job on that. And then it's kind of a shaker style, I guess. Yeah, shaker style with chrome poles. We don't have they're custom made but they're not dovetailed they're actually uh i guess nailed in and then the fronts are applied on there and then our dining room plenty of room for seating for six no problem lots of space you got secondary access to our storage that's under our staircase we got more storage access over there and then to the conversation room this is how we have it set up at our place as well um, the conversation area lots of space it's really good to have an area that's just not for watching tv Lots of windows, tons of light coming in, high ceilings with windows all the way up. I mean, it just lets in so much light. Uh, it helps these place feel, this place feel even bigger than it is. And then your living room area, we've got a couch, some chairs, got bar stools over here, of course. And then an armoire that holds the TV. I think now people would probably do something different with the armoire and just put the TV against the wall because just back when uh, they moved in here, you didn't have TVs against the wall. And then you have a pretty decent sized lanai area. So one thing that's really good about this unit compared to some other units that you'll see is this one doesn't back up to the road, so you don't get road noise. Uh, this, this is the common area up here with the swim pool up above. And as you can hear, no noise from the road. They got a little outdoor shower guy right there kind of hidden in with all these palms. It's nice and secluded so you can bring a table and chairs out here and have dinner here if you like and that would be great uh it's really nice having that there uh it's really peaceful having uh the pool area back there to wake up to instead of you know the, the cars on a lady drive uh stepping up the staircase all right we got I told you we got a couple more bedrooms and a loft up here another one of the really big selling points that people have when it comes to Kona Sea Ridge and this floor plan in particular, is that with the loft, you don't have to sacrifice a bedroom for an office or additional space. So they got it set up with you know a desk so you can make an office. They got a big TV to watch TV there. So if someone wants a second area to watch TV. Um, I've seen people set this up as an office, a game room, a little workout area whatever you don't have to give up a guest bedroom so that's super super cool it's one of the things i love about it and coming in here this is our second bedroom up our second guest bedroom upstairs I have the same bed i mean great furniture here guys no joke that picture won't stay but everything else here will you can see is very well decorated so these do not do, we don't do short-term vacation rentals uh, here in Kona Sea Ridge, but if someone's looking for something that's turnkey furnished, that looks great, that they don't have to really do much to, this might be the one for you. There is a special assessment in Kona Sea Ridge for a major repair going on. I'll tell you that right now. And uh, I'm having to pay it for my unit. This one, they will pay the special assessment at closing. So the future owners don't have to worry about it. Additionally, and this is uh, not common because this uh, project is just starting that they're having to do. I can tell you that the reason you're gonna like this one is that all the work, my understanding, all the work that's been going to be done uh, for that special assessment, which is concrete spalling repair, uh, has been completed on this unit. We actually held bringing it to market for a little bit so that could get done. So you don't have to worry about that happening later. Let me tell you, it's it's a dusty, they're jackhammering concrete. It's, there's a lot of dust and commotion. So um, that's something to take into account. That that's already been done on this unit and you're not going to have to deal with it for about two and a half, three weeks. When it's time to come. Okay, 
So the other big, one of the other big selling points is that you have a really large primary bedroom here. So uh, check out that bed. A lot of times when you get stuff that's turnkey furnished, furnish, you're getting like Costco furniture. Like this is quality stuff uh, that you're getting in here. Queen size bed, plenty of space, nice color in this room as well. Super well decorated and appointed. If you like that tiny Bahama style, you're going to love everything in here. And all the way here into our bathroom, his and her sinks. Got the same cabinetry that we had down in the kitchen. Privacy door here for the toilet. There's a closet in there. We're going to leave that door closed just because there's a little bit, a lot of stuff in there right now. I mean, just like, I'm not smart enough to think, oh, there's a little space there. Let's put this good looking red Japanese style bamboo with two pots and a nesting stand or something. I, I just don't have the eye for that stuff. So I don't know how to do it. All right. My three favorite things. The one thing I would change or add three favorite things. Number one. I mean, it's going to be the stuff I always like about this floor plan. The the fact that downstairs lives like a house uh, with a real dining area. Like, think about it when you see a lot of the condos that we bring you. The dining area is sort of just squeezed in where the living area is, and you just have to sort of make it work um, and take away from your living area. You don't have to do that here. You have a real dining area. Uh, I like that you have... So that's going to be number one, just this downstairs area with a real dining area, extra large living area, and kitchen that's opened up to everything. Favorite thing number two, you have a loft in addition to three bedrooms. So it's like you got extra living room, extra loft, extra bedroom, because so many of our bedrooms out here are, are so, so many of our condos out here are two bedrooms. This is two bedrooms plus a loft, so you're doing really, really good. Um... Favorite thing number three is that this unit backs up over here to this really nice green space out here with our pool. The pool stays pretty quiet here at Kona Sea Ridge. I gotta say, we're super lucky on that. Um, yeah, it's just pretty chill. It's a really, it's a pretty quiet complex. Um, we've been here for going on 10 years now. Um, so, Obviously, I'm a fan. Uh, one thing I would change or add, oh boy. Um, I don't have anything jumping out at me right now. I don't know, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Um, the carpet's in good shape, you know, in the areas that have carpet. There's a lot of tile as well. I can't really think of anything to add on this one. Um, we got an outdoor grill. I guess you could add some more furniture outside with a dining room table there. Um, other than that, I think you're pretty well set. Uh, great unit. Uh, again, this one's listed by me, so hit me up in the comments, or you can email me or call me or text me, and we'll go from there. I got more videos for you in the corner. I'll see you again real soon.